It is time for us to take down hard mode here in episode 130, Disaster Strikes, my friends, with the Hand of Calamity. Thank you for tuning in. As always, if you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe on top of it. If you get a question or a comment, let us know because I'd love to hear from you. And feel free to join us in our amazing community and Discord server, my friends. We're going to give you the four T's. That's the tactics, the team, the treasure, and the toppings in order to help you succeed and break it down here and overcome hard mode 130 disaster strikes hand of the calamity just like me as a free-to-play player my friends and we're doing something a little bit different here today because of the fact we're using some newer cookies post when this came out actually and in fact i actually think this is one of the better teams and best teams in order to get by as a free-to-play player and once you get these cookies a little bit better of a barrier to entry as we like to say so a couple things around this first and foremost this is being Beast yeast. This land radiates with the power of the beast before you unfolds a land landscape unlike anything you've ever seen in Crispia. Special conditions here in this battle. Cookies will have adjusted stats. Uh, here, topping most effects, eh, which again, with beast yeast, the biggest thing is really around those beast kits. Now, we also run into spore dispersal here. Your cookies will gain spore points whenever certain enemies use specific skills or get hit. Once the spore point meter is filled, you will gain the mushroom mutation status in this state your team's buff effects will be reduced and the damage they receive will be increased. The effect is stackable. Once mushroom mutation's duration is over, its target will disperse spores around themselves. And then last but not least, we got four effects here. Healing decreased, HP shield capacity decreased, enemies debuff increased, and damage down. And can't forget about the Guardian Strike. And this thing is really key. We'll talk a little bit about the strategy here in a second. Summons the Elder Fairy Sword, which deals critical damage to nearby enemies. The sword deals reduced damage to the bosses and can dispel the target's ongoing effects for a certain period of time. So that's a big one there as well. We're going to run into a mob here with Shield Spore and Sword Spore first, and then we hit our boss, Hand of the Calamity, here. A couple things around this boss. Its power level is about 300,000. It's got a ton of life at 24 million, which is a lot, and it does take uh, almost a whole time. So we'll talk about that again in a second. Sweep deals damage to the three nearest targets. Dimensional Rift deals damage and causes burn to all targets. Summon Monster summons a monster. That's very, very important here. We'll come back to this one in a second. Ray of Destruction deals damage and causes injury to all targets we'll talk about that too claws of chaos deals damage to all targets twisted gaze deals damage to the two nearest targets charming and amplifying the damage they receive targets cookies first we bring that up because targets cookies first if you're running a jungle strategy it's going to hit the cookies first we also have dimensional shield this passive applies spore count to enemies and decreases incoming damage enemies damage resist is temporarily dispelled when struck with guardian strike so that's a big thing to remember there as well in terms of some of the timing summons monster is big here pretty much when those monsters get summoned you do want to drop that guardian strike so you kind of got a two-fold thing going on you want to clear those monsters it's going to open up that damage resist for you there a little bit in terms of reduction so that is really the tactics around this particular boss let's go ahead and meet our team this is the team that we're going to use so let's talk about this uh, a little bit here what we're doing is we're taking advantage of pure vanilla for that injury we've got some newer cookies here from when this was first released which is mystic flower and the lovely stormbringer now one of the reasons why i like this particular team yes it's a little on the heavy side not necessarily epics but a lot more legendary ancient beast all that stuff but what you're going to find here is look at this. No promotion, one promotion, one promotion. Here we do have an ascended PV, um, and here we do have an ascended creme brulee. This is the key. It's pretty a low barrier to entry, really, if you can get these cookies, um, which is why I really, really like this strategy as a free-to-play player. I was able to get all these cookies um, from that perspective as well. Now, creme brulee, you can get at least to a five-star as well through the mileage, which is something to consider. So the strategy here is really one big key tank. Um, you might be able to use Elder Fairy as an example. I'll talk about some of the other swaps here towards the end um, as well post the run. And we're focused on two healers here, really, plus healing from the lovely White Lily. And a key with Mystic, Mystic Flower here is stacking that additional ability, giving you almost more health 
Um, we got the bubble, as I like to say, the shield from PV. We also got the heals here with that additional line um, of, of health. And on top of that, PV removing that injury. Most of the damage primarily is going to come from Crime Delay, so that is key. Now, in terms of our treasures, we are on attack and cooldown, Dream Conductor's Whistle, Old Pilgrim Scroll, and Squishy Jelly Watch. Some things that you could try, you could go on the robes. Uh, you could also go down here. You could go a little bit more on the defense side with Disciples Magic Scroll if you needed to. And we also could consider crit um, in terms of Grim Looking Psy, as well as some other things that might work for your team, um, like Sleepy Heads Jelly watch those kinds of things as well so that is very very important for you in terms of considerations on the treasures now let's go ahead and talk about the gear so wait first and foremost there again topping bonus effects eh, very very key so what does that mean that means you're going to focus definitely on your biscuits now when it comes to our cookies and toppings and gear guide biscuit guides here on the channel we do have a lovely playlist for you to check out and a ton of things here on these cookies and how to build them that you can check out here on the channel and in the Discord server, my friends. Now, generally, you're going to be on Radiant Resonant or Tainted Resolute or essentially the right specific toppings or biscuits for the right cookies. Um, we always recommend that one that makes sense. Typically, in our biscuits, we're going to be on three or four of them. We also can go up to level 30. So I like to call these things out because this is where you're going to do a lot of your tweaking, mostly for your particular cookies. So in this case, we're doing pretty good. White Lily here is only level 20. We're also on attack. We're not on cooldown, something that you can consider you could go on cooldown if you wanted um here we have a specialty secret going from 20 to 30 that you can check out here on the channel um you might already know what that is but we like to keep that one there for you um so there is a big tip there and again we got a lot of area of improvement here for white lily so i like to show this um to help you overcome this hard mode one here on pv same thing we got damage resist bypass hp is pretty much the only thing that's going to work here and still level 20 creme brulee attack level 20 as well damage resist bypass and crit percent here survivability is definitely going to go up if we bring this to level 30 and then mystic flower is pretty solid here with four of them lots of great cooldown and our attack and hp there so lots of things that you can work on to make your your team a little bit better a little bit better survivability and also take down this boss so that my friends is the tactics that is the team the treasures and the toppings biscuits gear in order to help you get by hand of the calamity here if you still got a question if you got a comment let me know because we want to hear from you and feel free like i always say to join us in the discord server that information is available to you in the description and down below all right let's go for a run here again the hand of calamity now a couple things like we said you're going to run into and see uh this first wave now as we're doing that as always we got a swag and merch store available to you it's a nice way to support thank you for that and if you haven't already feel free to subscribe and like today's video all right here we go hand of the calamity so like i said we're going to start getting in lots of damage creme brulee is going to be the big one this lovely lovely apathy there giving us that additional health now we saw the baddies drop and there you go you want to use that every time that you can um, what you're going to find there too is there's the injury we're going to get the heals from pure vanilla to kind of pull that back in for us now you can see lots and lots of damage in. We still have two minutes left, which is great. Here is the damage down. Now watch this, there we go. And that goes away. So that is key there for keeping that damage up, that pressure up. You're still going to hit the uh, mushroom stuff here, as you can see, except for White Lily. And a Calamity's going at it here. Waiting for it, there it is. Boom, right back at it, and we still have our damage resist off. We got two of these things left. Ideally, you can get through this whole thing without having to not use this, uh, essentially. And what do I mean by that is using all five and then not having to necessarily worry here towards the end. Now, there you can see my team. I left that one on purpose. Can completely remove it. However, what do you see that's going on here is I have the damage down still. Um, which can run into problems, as you can see, in terms of getting damage in quickly and taking this boss down with 50 seconds left. So we're going to drop that, get that out of the way, take the damage out of the way. One of the things that you can do is you can try and time it a little bit better than I did there with creme brulee to make sure that damage is getting through. Now there it's piling in, which is key. We're going to keep this on here with creme brulee. Big, big hit. There it is. Keeping it off. 
And there you have it, my friends. 20 seconds left with a lot of key pieces to help you break that down. Now, what you'll find with this particular team that I really liked was that consistency, the ability to set everything up, the survivability, and good damage. And we gave you a lot of ways that you can improve your team here as a free-to-play player like me in order to help you get by and succeed. Look at that. No five-star promotions. Mm -hmm. Nothing ascended all the way to five. Look at that. That is huge, 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 huge. So let's go back to it here and talk about some swaps because I know a lot of you always like to ask me about that. So in the case of this particular team, some of the things that you could consider a little bit differently would be things like Financier Cookie, Elder Fairy, Burnt Cheese. Those can give you some additional survivability here with Creme Brulee. If you do get Creme Brulee's life up and survivability a little bit better, just like I showed on the gear, you might not need to run into it. Here in particular, we didn't have that issue. If you don't have Mystic Flower, you could put something in like um, the lovely cream puff as an example those two uh, can help you get through as well in terms of a difference um, or you can move in some other damage dealers or key damage dealers for your particular team so i just wanted to give you a couple other ideas to hopefully help you out in your journey here um, and take down of 130 disaster strikes hand of the calamity with that my friends we gave you the four t's here today the tactics the team the treasure and the toppings in order to help you succeed uh, if you still got a question if you got a comment Comment, let us know because I'd love to hear from you down below as always and in the discord server it's a great way to stay in the know and with that thank you thank you for tuning in here today I appreciate your support thank you for the likes and the subs as we continue to grow this amazing community here and thank you to all of our members as always we do have memberships available to you um, it's a nice way to support the channel emotes icons extra videos those kinds of things as well we also have affiliate links something you can check out plus our swag and merch store don't forget our socials at me chat me stay connected my friends because i love showcasing your stuff here on the channel with that get out there close down 130 disaster strikes hand of the calamity we have the number one free-to-play player team for you here today with that keep on running my friends for beast yeast we'll see you soon